Now, page four, the not worth impeachment lie. So old Nancy Pelosi says she's not in favor of impeaching the 45th president. Pelosi claims it's not worth it. Do we believe her? Is the Speaker of the House being honest or is she playing a game? Well, the answer is a little of both. When she comes out and she says it's not worth the political effort to impeach President Trump, Pelosi is giving cover to Democrat members of the House who will be running in pro-Trump states in 2020. Ah, but on the other hand, Pelosi would like to see nothing more than an impeachment trial of President Trump if it doesn't backfire on her party. Remember, Bill Clinton not only survived the trial in the Senate, but his approval numbers actually went up following impeachment. But what's also happening here is this. Pelosi is playing good cop. Publicly, she's always indicated that she's not so gung-ho on impeachment. This way, the Speaker of the House can distance herself from the rabid radicals in her party who wish to bring forth articles of impeachment today before she is ready to do so. These would be constitutional midgets like Congressman Al Green of Texas. The words in the Pledge of Allegiance mean something to me, and Stop I salute tape. the it, it, They mean something to you, uh, Congressman? That's funny, because you and your party have dropped God. Under God, so help me God. Any reference of God is now expunged from this, the 116th Congress. When they swear in folks to testify before Congress, raise your right hand, they no longer say, so help me God. And if this guy had his way and the rest of the caucus, the Democrat caucus, Everything that has God in it, um, from our founding paperwork to our money, should be erased. That's the party, the party of no God, the Democrat Party. Roll tape. Flag, liberty and justice for all. And I believe that this is what impeachment is about. Uh, it's really about whether or not we are going to tolerate and continue to allow an unfit president to be in office. Stop tape. How exactly is he unfit? Let's see now. Has he violated the separation of powers? Uh, no, that would have been Barack Obama. Has he unilaterally written law from the Oval Office? No, that would be Barack Obama. Uh, has he given billions and billions of dollars to our enemy, to Iran? No, that would be Barack Obama, has he thumbed his nose at our ally, our one democracy in the Middle East, Israel? No, that would be Barack Obama. Has he unilaterally done things in the Oval Office that are in violation of the United States Constitution? No, that would be Barack Obama. Did he ignore the Islamic State? And think back to all those videos that we saw during the tenure of Barack Obama. All those horrible videos, think about them. In flames and the beheadings, I don't even want to picture them in my mind, but let's just stipulate that we saw those for years and years. And what did the 44th president do about that? He sat back with his well-shined shoes on the resolute desk. He did absolutely nothing. And what did the 45th president do? First thing he came into office, he said, I'm gonna go after those cockroaches, and he did. He wiped them out of Iraq, and they're 99% wiped out of Syria. That is not doing the job of the presidency? Improving the United States economy, doubling the gross domestic product of the previous president, that is not living up to the office of the presidency, a congressman? Or how about morale in this country? And the, just the overall mood of America being proud of itself once again. Donald Trump has instilled that. He's trying to protect our southern flank, our, our border. He's trying to bolster national security in this country. He's trying to aid our men and women in uniform in the United States military. That's not living up to commander in chief, congressman. Seems to me that he is and Barack Obama didn't. Roll tape. Uh, let's just address the comments about is he worth it? Stop tape. Um, and, and make no mistake, is he worth it? So Nancy Pelosi comes out and says he's not worth it. It actually gives geniuses like this guy some fodder to talk about, to go on television and speak the way he is. Nancy Pelosi needs geniuses like Al Green. She needs them to play off so she can be the good cop. He can be the bad cop. But the bottom line is, behind closed doors, 
They're all on the same page. They all want to get the 45th president. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.